Just a quick reminder that I'm having a Collage Paper 101 workshop. It'll be a two hour workshop, Friday, April 12th. I have two different times um, available. You can go to JackieSchomburg.com slash workshops to get the details. And it's only $45 because this is an experiment and you guys are gonna uh, go on this journey with me. But come bring your questions, come bring supplies. We're all gonna make this together on Zoom and you will have a huge stockpile of collage papers by the end. All right, back to the show. Hi everybody, it's Jackie schomburg Minen. I'm doing something different today. Today I am doing a vision board and I realized that I've never actually done one before. I've threatened to do them, but I've never actually done one. And as my uh, what's informing me about this vision board is something that's a prompt from Nicholas Wilton. He said, what is your perfect day? So I wrote down my perfect day is to wake up to kid snuggles after nine and plus hours of sleep, no alarm clocks, come down the stairs, have Earl Grey tea and oatmeal with raspberries, lead a brave art and creative wellness workshop on Zoom, which I did too yesterday, which was an extra special day. It was awesome. Um, afternoon coffee and brainstorming with my friend Erica. Back home for a few hours of art making in a clean, tidy art studio. Out for dinner with my husband to a fancy restaurant with a very strict yoga pants and hoodie sweatshirt dress code. So I can just be relaxed and chill. Eat dessert at home on the couch watching Queer Eye or Colbert and listening to the cicadas in the summer or sitting by the fireplace in the winter. So that basically channeled down, funneled down into a word and my word was connection. I'm seeking connection, which I thought was a really cool way to find your word of the year. If you're someone who does that, uh, this is a focus of my vision board today. And of course, I have plenty of magazines to pull from. Um, I have bins of just pages I've torn out of magazines that then I can recycle. I have clips and, you know, off cuts and everything else in the world because I always save everything. So the first thing I did was go through the magazines, tear out pages that looked good. I had a few magazines I hadn't touched yet, so I grabbed those. Then I started cutting things out and I'm not going to lie. This one was a challenge for me, I think because there were so many possibilities and I wasn't clear what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to use magazines, but I didn't know if I wanted to, uh, you know, find literal pictures of things or like an actual picture of a cup of, of tea, etc. Um, or if I was going to use the colors to inform it. So I kind of did everything, which did not help things feel easy. But I did have a lot of fun moving everything around, as you can see. Um, so when I thought about the perfect day in connection, then I thought about other things that just inspire me in general. So rainbows always inspire me. I cannot... I mean, I need rainbows all the time. Uh, look at that clean window. Ah, oh, there's no clutter. There's no like greasy fingerprints or peanut butter on it. It's amazing. And that little dog in the middle, it's a Maltese. And that's the kind of dog that I grew up with. And my mom currently has one. So at some point in the future, after I can tread water with the children that I currently have, um, I would love to have a little puppy. They're basically like 10 pound fluff balls and they never get bigger, but they think they're golden retrievers. So they're just super happy, chill dogs. Um, I thought about right making crafts with my kids. I love blue and white together from like a home decor standpoint. And I love blue and white dishes uh, so much that my husband like probably hates blue and white dishes because I, I just kind of covet them a little too much. Thanks, Home Goods. So I'm 
And I also love circles. I feel like the circle, and I typically do orb shapes a lot. I do orb shapes in my gel printing. I do orb shapes when I'm just doodling or any of my mark making. Everything tends to be some sort of orb or circle shape. I love coziness, thus my yoga pants and hoodie sweatshirt dress code at this restaurant on my perfect day. I do not want to feel constricted. I feel like I've done that in life. I've done all the constricting. I don't know if it's an age thing or like a mom thing or uh, like perimenopause thing or what it is, but I just don't have time for tight, non-stretchy clothes. If they're tight and stretchy, okay. But if there's no stretch, I'm probably not gonna wear it. I just have no time. No time for that foolishness. Um, the mug and the mittens just reminds me of like the Danish concept of huga, which is this really cozy feeling, fireplaces, throw blankets, you know, board games with friends, which is, I feel like my entire lifestyle dream would be that. The introvert with who loves to have small groups of friends over. And so the circles, I kind of continued the circle around where that dish cuts off and added that necklace on. There's a lake island. Oh, I just took it away. There's a lake island that reminded me of the lake house we vacationed in northern Wisconsin. It's very pretty. It was not an island, but it was on a river and just gorgeous trees and I love water. Of course, black and white stripes. That is me. And I love the, you know, the bottom right side of things is kind of like the the play and the brave art and creative wellness workshops where it's just you use inexpensive things you don't think too much you don't judge yourself you pretend you're in kindergarten and you just go for it the dishes also kind of represent the fancy dinner date too and the black and white striped carpet which is at the top of my my picture and water I love water. I don't know if there's anyone who's turned off by water. Maybe if, some, maybe if you don't know how to swim, that would be kind of scary, I suppose. Um, that's not a stretch to believe. But the sound of water sitting by the lake, um, I'm right near Lake Michigan, um, and it's just wonderful. So wonderful. Oceans are also wonderful, but I don't have as much experience with oceans because I'm right in the middle of the United States my rainbow. Gotta love a rainbow. I did overthink so many things about this. I overthought the words, I overthought everything, but I kept finding this phrase, the answer is feed the good. And I couldn't ignore it because it was perfect. What do you want to do in life? I want to add more fuel to the good things. You can't always take away the bad things, but if you keep adding fuel to the good things, either they crowd out the bad things, or at least they compensate for the bad times because you have so much good also. That was one of those, sometimes you see, you get wise words coming from magazine clips that you just find these two phrases together and you're like, yes, this is the key to everything, of course. So I decided I might as well embrace that and put that one up there. So in the past, I've done, well, once I've done a bulletin board that I have facing me when I'm sitting at my desk and I love all the things that are on it. I made it two or three years ago, and I have not updated it since. I've added a couple things. People have sent me nice letters uh, and nice cards that I've put up there. My friend Katie sent me a little teeny bag of confetti when I reached 
some milestone for my YouTube channel. I think maybe 3,000 people subscribing, which I thought was a, was amazing. So thank you, Katie, if you're watching this. And I kept a little bag of confetti and put it on my bulletin board. It was so nice to feel celebrated by my friend. Uh, and I realized that I really don't change anything on it. So what's the point of having it take over my entire bulletin board? I instead, um, I'm going to try it this way for a little while and let myself be inspired by these images and symbols of what my perfect day could be. Very cozy. I didn't put any dessert on there. Well, yeah, I did. Hot chocolate. That counts. And there's some raspberries in that red strip on the bottom right, right next to those pink and blue stickers. As you can see, I tried a million combinations and a million placements for each thing. And typically I, I try to fill up all the space and I don't want anything to stay white, but I purposely added the kind of, it looks like two bars of one's just solid white and one solid like taupe. Um, I added that specifically because it was so white and so strange and so obvious. And I, maybe I added that as I'm realizing now, maybe I added that just because it was so white and clean and quiet. There's a lot of busyness on this board that is not lost on me. It is kind of overwhelming. So for those of you who like quiet spaces, this is not going to be <laughs> anything quiet at the end. However, I wanted to maximize the space. I wanted to fill it up and I wanted it to, to look fun. And though it is a little bit over the top busy. I'm embracing it. We'll see how it goes. I can always cover it up later. And that little girl with the paper dolls that she cut out just reminds me of my kids and their joy when they create. And it also does double duty because I also want to create with the mindset of a child. It's a kindergartner, no fear, no second thinking anything, just pure play and exploration and fun. Again, that's what I think art should be. There are times for it to be serious. Totally get that. There are times that I really want things to turn out well. Totally get that. But especially at the beginning when you're just putting things down, I just want it to be play. There's so few opportunities in our busy life these days, especially if you're over 21. And I think we're just play starved, at least joy starved, many of us. I like the hair, but I didn't want to cover up that little girl. Maybe she's me. I don't know. Maybe it's my inner child. But I got some books. I have so many things on here that I really do like and that make my life better and make my days better. Now, I do not like cleaning, but I love having a clean house and I love having a tidy house. If I won the lottery, the first thing I would do would be hire someone to clean up my house because <laughs> I do not enjoy it, but I certainly love it when it's clean. So this is what I've made. I am going to write down some words just to remind myself of some very specific words. Clearly connection is one of those words. And I added some white paint that's dripping down right there that I'm going to add words to also. Have you done vision boards in the past? Do you do them every year? If so, let me know why and when you do them. Is this a New Year's thing? Is it for special projects? 
I'm very curious to see how people use these because I did have a lot of fun making it and who knows, maybe I will keep making them. Bye everybody.